The federal government has loaded UNICEF using education in emergency programs to encourage the continuity of qualitative education in the Northeast. In spite of the emerging challenges of insecurity and insurgency uh, being faced, the Director of Education Support Services, Federal Minister of Education, Dr. Lydia Gigina, so that these are the one-day workshop for national dissemination of best practices in education and emergencies towards strengthened resilience in education functionaries in Borno, Adamawa, and Yobe, Bay States, and Yola. UNICEF Education Officer in Abuja, Judith Giwa Amu, also stated that the need for education functionaries as key duty bearers to be well equipped with knowledge and skills for discharging their duties has become very imperative, especially in these times of emergencies. She said that the meeting serves as a forum to show and tell what has been achieved towards building education and supporting sectors functionaries with demonstrable education and emergencies capacity to better plan and manage current and future emergency shocks. The government also has a way to check mates by way of you know developing a benchmark to see whether this capacity did they actually you know what they collected is it relevant and how we're doing it how the program seeks to do it is by building capacity of quality assurance officers in Subay. These quality assurance officers now go down using a qualitative tool to checkmate and benchmark the quantitative cobo collector and see what the finding is to demonstrate that actually new knowledge has been acquired. Workshops for the dissemination of best practices in the EIE so as to strengthen resilience in education functions from these base states and other states as well. So I am sure we are going to share our experiences towards strengthening our capacity in order to be resilient in coping with crisis and as well as providing education. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.